Hey, we're back, and I tried to board some ships, and now it's our first duel. And it says you should move the mouse around, but you don't really need to. You just. Need to right click in time. And just do the double click attack. And it's unblockable and it you you win. It's cool. One down and now fighting two military corvettes with my one military corvette and two corvettes. Is this getting confusing yet? The corvettes yet? So we're gonna lose this ship. And that's fine. Because it's only a corvette and what I want is the military corvette. In fact I'm gonna get rid of that one and bring in the fresh one already. And we're gonna knock down those sails, get rid of the crew, and then board, and we're gonna have three military corvettes. And then it's game on. Sink. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> so close. Don't you dare run away from me. And now my military corvette goes into the battle. Take out some of those sails. And Bob's your uncle. Embarrassing. Where <laughs> click, click that instead of boarding. Oops. <laughs> Take everything and then run. 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 <sighs> and now we have all the good chips and none of the bad ones. Three beautiful military corvettes. You can sell the others. Thank you, Corvettes. You served us well, but it's time for you to go. And we have a convoy full of stuff. And we have not enough crew. And we have way too many cannons. So, here's what I'm going to do. A uh, guy, Willem and Leighton, I'm going to send him up here to collect one of these military frigates. And we're going to carry on fighting with just the two. And everything will be fine. I'd be happy to tell you something of the life of the pirate Henry Avery. Cool. How's this captain doing? I mean, in a little while, he's going to be ready for battle as well. Uh, for trading as well. Um, yeah, cool. So, since we've got 300,000 bucks, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to our town, Turk Islands, and see what the governor has to say. Yada, yada, yada. No, no, thanks. We're going to buy all these houses. 
And the reason for this will become clear. We're going to buy them or build them. Because rental income, money from rental homes, is really, 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 really good. It's one of the best ways to make income in this game. Um, it's it's free. You know, the house has some upkeep, and then everything above that is just free money. So if you have spare money in this game, buy houses. That's what I'm saying. Buy houses. And not only that, here's my trick. What you're going to do is build a shitload of farms and food farms and everything and yada 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 and then you're going to sell it immediately so that you don't own the business but the town is going to start growing because people will take those jobs and they're all going to live in your house so I say again build a shitload of houses um, as many as you possibly can. I'm going to spend almost all my money on these. And I'm still not quite making a profit, but that's okay. Because we will be very shortly making quite a lot of profit. Now, you sir can have the awesome ship and go back to your trade route. This one is ready to go back into battle. And now that we've got two military corvettes, I am very confident sailing military corvettes. We can attack full on military convoys. We can start making real bucks now. Because we see we're doing 14 knots of speed. We can run rings around anything we want to. Basically. How good is that? Oh, look at all these juicy convoys coming in. Do I want a frigate? Sure. But he's just running away straight away. That's fine. What's this? Yes, perfect. It's another military convoy. <laughs> military corvette, I mean. But he has one and I have two. And if you're really careful, if you're sailing a military corvette, you can often get through a whole battle without getting one shot. He might fire one shot at me right now. Yeah, I got a little bit, but I dodged most of it. They're so nimble, they're so fast. The only way to counter them is with an identical ship. Um, so, just to recap, while most of this game is about attacking Spain. The name of the game is Attack Spain. The first thing you need to do is get yourself like 10 military corvettes and the way to get that is by attacking France. So that's what we're doing, attacking France. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to all my French friends. <laughs> Cool. Great. We have more stuff. I'm really anxious for this captain to get some points and get some more trading happening on its own because when you start having ships full of guys and <laughs> cannons and shit it starts getting expensive so what was this guy wanting? he wants to go to Cartagena and there's going to be a pirate waiting for us now a pirate convoy would be worth a lot of money but it's probably going to do a lot of damage. I'm gonna say no. What I'm gonna do instead is repair my ship. Um, how has this been going? 
see okay so that's not looking great right now <laughs> where is it trading no data yet okay fine what's my reputation inexperienced and D <laughs> this is um this is fun what does the governor say today do I want to attack Spain no not right now What I want right now is to keep doing this. The raiding, the attacking, the slowly growing the fleet. I mean, just a while ago, this was a couple of brigs. No, this was a frigate and a couple of corvettes, and now it's three military corvettes. So that's all I'm doing is just building it up and up and up. Um, I'm just holding down the uh, space bar here to zip th through time warping just to get out of the dry dock. Now let's just have a quick look at this. A thousand cutlasses are 27 grand. Um, that's a lot of money. Especially since you can hold 32,000 cutlasses. So what's 32 times um, Holy shit, everyone's at war. What's 32 times 27? 32 grand times... Okay, never mind, because we're going to attack this, and we're going to capture a big ship. A big fuck-off caravel. And I'm going to do it, hopefully, without even having to be attacked once, if I can, if I remember how to do that slick. There we go, gotcha. I've got you now. So the thing about these ships, the caravels, they're very high powered and they're very uh, maneuverable so they can pivot really quickly and s sort of get you with some, with a snapshot. Um, but they're very slow. <laughs> so. Um, if you have the military corvettes, again, you can run rings around them, just like everything else. You are the ring runner. Um, same old, same same plan. You'll notice that every single ship I attack in this st this stage of the game is still like the finish from the beginning. We're moving into the middle. Every single attack I do is with these chain balls and that's because you want to capture every ship that you attack and sell it. You really want to hold on to that value. Later on in the game all you're going to do is be using the heavy cannonballs because you just want to sink everything you can to get rid of military convoys so that you can attack towns. You know that, don't you? We now have a very big ship. And the French do not like us at all. This is really interesting. So, right now, potentially, I could attack anyone I wanted if I just went and got the right letter of mark. Now, I went to all this trouble to capture a very big, expensive ship. I'm going to sell it, because it's fucking useless in a battle. It's not how I do battle. <laughs> now, <laughs> um, a little counterintuitive, eh, to go to all that trouble, but here's the point. Big ship, uh, you can't see what I'm pointing at, I'll point with a mouse. It carried a lot of cannons, about 40 cannons. The cannons are what we wanted off that, that ship, really. That's where all the money is. 34 grand, just for the hull. So we just made a hundred grand basically, attacking that little convoy there. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to stop the video again and pick it up if we get to the next stage, which would probably be if I have a lot of money and I'm going to buy a lot more houses or we're getting into a bigger convoy battle. But I'll leave it there for now. That's uh, the next stage is picking off bigger and bigger ships with your smaller convoys.